I'm Sir Tap, Tap and welcome to Let's Play Grow Ornament. So, if you are not familiar, Grow is a very long-running series of little puzzle slash toy games where pretty much what you do is you put these little objects on your Grow thing and uh, watch what happens. And there's a special order you're supposed to put everything in. And uh, as you can see here, we didn't really successfully max everything out. So hearts actually had quite a few different levels they went through. Um, this one only had two, so we need to place this one late. So you, these basically work on trial and error. So we can see there's five different levels of the toy box or the present. So we actually need to place that first for sure. It seems like we need to place that second. Uh, we don't really know with the rest of these. This one goes last. So you just sort of learn by trial and error how this works. And uh, this is not a new game, but I thought this would be appropriate for Christmas. So uh, this will be real short, but um, this is actually, I believe, 10 years old, uh, around that at least. Um, the Grow Games have been around, like I said, for quite a long time. The, copy the copyright date says 2002 on uh, the Grow website. Most of these games are free. Uh, a lot of them actually have mobile versions you can play now. Uh, so as we can see, I think the presents the presents must be leveled up max because we put that first. I don't see. Hmm. So the lights. We need to put the lights earlier. Hmm. Actually, I wonder if that cloud guy didn't need to do more. I actually need to put this second to last because it had two levels. I think it must have messed something up. All right, so let's go present, heart. The light needed more. So a lot of the fun in these is seeing all the cute little interactions and there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's still cute to see what happens. And um, this one's very simple. There's a lot, uh, a lot of the later ones have a lot more interactions, and of course, you know, it's exponentially more complicated with each extra extra item you add. And this one's a little more obvious than usual. Um, sometimes there's some weird interactions, like um, that cloud obviously didn't, didn't, doesn't level up until that guy jumps on it. And so a lot of times you'll have to do some specific ordering that isn't quite obvious from the amount of growth. Hmm. Got close. Maybe we need to put the lights on earlier. Seems excessive though. Wait, have I tried this? Wait, no, it's... I do think I need to put this down first. Because so I think there's only three levels or three things that the snow cloud do guy does. Obviously there's guides for this and I really don't recommend looking up guides unless you get totally stumped because the fun is seeing the interactions. The fun isn't completing the puzzle, um, at least in my opinion, because you always get something neat at the very end, but um, the the fun of pu figuring out the puzzles is where, where the games really shine in my opinion. Um, so, I was thinking I'm going to do some more series Let's Plays, and one thing, the I've already started one with, you know, Bullet Heaven 2, so I want to do... You know, I want... One, two, three, four. This definitely needs to go first. Oh man, this is one, one area where I get stuck, because I, I forget if I've tried a certain combination before. The mobile version of this actually added a speed up button, which is nice. It doesn't I actually think it's faster on the web version than the mobile one, though. Because the animations don't seem to be super slow. But, um... Yeah, keep going. Do those lights not level up? Each time? Or... Hmm. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of these. They're not very long, unless you get super stumped. I'm sure I could have already beaten this already if I knew the solution. But, um... It's part of the fun. I, I, I will try not to cheat too much when I do the more complicated ones, but if I get super stumped, I may go ahead and look up stuff. 
Ah, that's what we were missing. I think. Did the lights level up? Oh, yes, he's got the star. So there's usually something that only triggers. There you go. Once you get everything light. Oh, he's a gingerbread man. Hi, little guy. And the the characters he designs, um, the I think is it just on the guy that goes by? Oops, yeah, on. Um, iMaze is the website, just iMaze.com, and it, it's got lots of really cute characters. And I'll just show a whole bunch of different grow games. I I guess I'll try to put one video up a week. Parker, um, they're more complicated than that one. That one's just a fun one for Christmas. Um, I'll try to, hmm, I guess I'll try to show them in chronological order, Parker. Uh, there's a whole bunch of these, and I'll sort of just do, show one at a time. And I highly recommend checking out the website. Um, there's a couple paid games too, but most of them are free. Uh, browser games, or <clears throat> most of them have, I'm not sure about most, but many of them now have mobile versions you can play on your phone too. Uh, both iOS and Android. So yeah, I, I've been mean to do an iMaze Let's Play for ages, because this is actually, he's actually one of my favorite creators of these Flash games, but I just never, for some reason, I never really did a Let's Play, so I figured I would solve that problem. Oh, just one fun little extra, the, not really a game, but uh, he started doing these little Grow comics, and they have a great understand, like, it's a parody of Grow's own sort of growth, like, the absurd stuff that happens. And so just um, the infinite battle one, I think is a lot of people's favorites and that's the one I'm showing you here. And so there's just so much crazy stuff that goes on. And of course it's only after you put the last piece down. It's just very self-aware sense of humor. And this one in particular, it's like the one of those blue ball contraption things sort of, but just everything is an infinite loop. And uh, I thought those was a really cute one. The So you can find the comics on the website too. So I re recommend just, you know, check out all of the different crap on the website. There's a whole bunch of stuff. If you've never heard of it now, there's just tons of stuff.